Hey guys, it's Elizabeth from Product Sense here. Today, we're going to be looking at Interstellar, which is this new sales platform that I've never tried. It is supposed to have an excellent integration with LinkedIn Sales Nav, and I just got that tool last week. So I'm very curious to try it out. Interstellar is supposed to be excellent at email sequences and outbound at the integration with LinkedIn Sales Nav. And yeah, let's give it a go and see what we can do. So as I go through the interstellar landing page, I'm looking for a couple of things. I'm looking for strong message strength, persona, and then any blockers to entry of actually signing up for the product. And within the message strength, I'm going to give it a low to medium. They definitely seem like they have two very different personas. Personas are the types of people that you're targeting. Sometimes they're called ideal customer profile, ICP, or, and, sales, people who are looking for perspectives, respective customers. And that comes through in the message strength. Um, all of the testimonials of Interstellar were done by salespeople. All of the messaging, that first initial onboarding video done by Stephen Liu, the CEO. So message strength, definitely a little lower. Um, the second thing, the personas, they're definitely targeting two kind of different types of people but do have similar workflows. So there definitely was a lot for integration that I've seen before, such as Greenhouse, such as Pipedrive, like other sales or recruiting platforms are definitely within the interstellar integration. So I thought that was wonderful. I didn't have any barriers to entry of actually signing up for the product. It made the landing page pretty easy to do. Um, and it made the landing page pretty easy to understand. Now on to the fun part. What is the first time user experience? The F tux. So at this point, I'm looking for a couple of things and I give you two benchmarks, the one minute magic moment and the five minute magic moment. I'm coming onto the platform for the first time. You got me, I finally signed up for it. And now five minutes onto the platform, can I complete an onboarding and set up a sequence? What can I do on the platform within five minutes? So. What I found for Interstellar was that the one minute magic moment didn't really exist. Um, came onto the platform, beautiful white screen, definitely seems very simple. Five minute magic moment, at five minutes, I had completed the six step onboarding. I had looked at a tester sequence that I had just kind of like BS'd. I was able to send out a sales sequence and it definitely took me a little bit to figure out where to edit the emails. I was going from the first tab to send, dude, and oh, I was trying, just trying to find it. Oh my gosh, it was so difficult. 10 minutes on that platform, I was able to learn it and, and send out my first sequence. That's absolutely hands down amazing. Now the grit score for me is my prize magic metric. I'm going to give this a grit score of two, which is excellent. You do only need to spend 10 minutes on the platform. I'm giving it a two instead of a one because I haven't even looked into integrations. I didn't have time. I was really, really excited to use Interstellar for the first time and to try out the first time user experience. And yeah, the grit score, super, super simple as well. So I see pricing, standard plan $100 per month, features, sourcing, outreach, email sequences, integrations. Okay, so all of this is included in there. Specific integrations are definitely not included in the $100 a month plan. So recruiting includes all the integrations and includes personal emails and mobile phone number. Unlimited outreach, or what if I need more than 250 email lookups? We offer chat and email, do you offer discounts? trial. Yes. It's also interesting is that I didn't need to sign up um, or put in my credit card information. All of these look like fantastic pricing plan. Oh my gosh. You're at the end of the video. Congratulations on finishing the f -tux of Interstellar. I'm Elizabeth and I'm an ex-software engineer, current product manager, and I am fascinated with the first time user experience. If someone's giving you their time of prospective customers and you're not getting your f -tux right, you're going to see higher churn numbers and decreased engagement. So 
if that's interesting to you, we're on all the platforms linked below. Product Sins is in the Twitters, it's in the LinkedIn's. And of course, I love hearing personal messages on LinkedIn's, on email. So give me a note and uh, yeah, see you guys in another video.